Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. The whole boat right now is super psyched because we've been sitting at Scorpion Bay for nearly a week now waiting for some surf. And well, today is the day the swell has arrived. There are some epic waves going on out there. So we're getting fired up. I just waxed my board and I haven't surfed in a really long time. And I want to have as much energy as I can to paddle onto as many waves as I can. And what's going to help me do that is a matcha mud water. It has so many good things in it, like medicinal mushrooms that give you so much energy to just power on through anything you want to do throughout the day. So we're getting ready to go for a surf and I'm going to have a ice matcha. I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanting to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colours in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby Okay, second day of surf Apparently it's pumping We went out and had a shake this morning And we're going so let's go! Today we are leaving Scorpion Bay. We're going to sail for the next 24 hours. Um, so I'm going to do some food prep. I just made a loaf of bread and I've got a egg, like a quiche thing in the oven and I'll make some muffins. But this is what I try and do. I don't always do it. I'm not always the best at getting ready to sail overnight because I don't mind cooking while we're on passage. So this is what we do just before we go sailing. Bella gets all her fixes on the internet. <laughs> Cook, we're gonna get in the kitchen and Belle's gonna make something. What are you gonna make for sailing? Upside down pineapple cake. Oh, the boys found pineapples on shore, so we are going to, or Belle's gonna make upside down pineapple cake. Look how beautiful this rug is behind us. I love it. The guys sent us a couple of rugs, they're from Australia. It's sail day, so we're going sailing. We've got a hundred nautical miles to sail. So we'll be leaving this afternoon, sailing all night and arriving tomorrow. So I've cooked a loaf of bread and I've also made a loaf of bread. This will be for tomorrow, so probably for tomorrow's breakfast. I will um, put it in the fridge tonight and then they'll be, it'll be ready to put in the oven for fresh bread in the morning. So we are leaving Scorpion Bay, had some surf, which has been super fun. And now we're just gonna go get some provisions, some fruit and veggies and some eggs before we leave. We're sailing to Magdalena Bay. Magdalena Bay. It looks actually amazing there. We're gonna go ashore and stock up 
on some food. starts it gives charge surf's gone and we've got wind so we are heading for the south and we're going to Magdalena Bay pulling anchor heading off Going a whopping four knots. Seven knots of wind, hooting along. You got four knots and there's only seven knots of wind, that's pretty, pretty good. good. Captain's supposed to be resting, look at him resting. Why aren't you asleep? Bella and I are up next. We're gonna do watch together for five hours and you're gonna sleep. We had a very peaceful night. It was um, very light winds and there's still light winds, it's like seven, eight knots. Oh, we're up to nine, nine, ten from behind. So we're just going to cruise it along about five knots. Going wing on wing, we got the spinnaker pole out, and yeah, there's really light winds. 
didn't see any boats. And we're about 20 nautical miles away from the start of the bay. Northwest winds. It was predicted to be stronger than this though. I think it was supposed to be around 15, 20 knots, we thought. It's lovely, just cruising along. And we'll be at Magdalena Bay in probably five, five or six hours. This is where we left last night. This afternoon, San Juanita, which is Scorpion Bay, which where is where we had about a week. I think we spent there. So we left yesterday afternoon, and we are heading down into here. So we're either going to go into here, into there. <laughs> Or we're gonna go around into there. We haven't decided yet. That's Magdalena Bay. Got our shopping bags from our little uh <laughs> we got soaked yesterday in the tender coming back out. Fishing rod has been out, but I think we're going a little bit slow to catch a fish. he making? Captain should be sleeping, but he's not. He's uh, in the kitchen cooking something up. We uh, haven't moved much, got 15 nautical miles to go. It's nearly 9am. The wind keeps picking up a little bit so we can't keep going a little bit faster. We got to go four and a half, five knots, three, three or four hours till we get there. Pleasant out here though, just a uh, lovely morning sailing along. He's cooking up a storm and it smells delicious. So my captain's whipped up some nasi goreng for breakfast. Oh yum, my favourite. Look at that. Oh, oh. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Thank you. Who Makassi? Magdalene Bay. Where he keeps catching fish and he keeps throwing them back. The Bonito, if we had a big rod and reel, we'd put them on and we'd catch a marlin. We don't want a marlin. We don't want a marlin. And we don't want a bonito. But we can keep a bonito for dinner. No. Fresh, they're fine. You eat them the first day. Oh, you. Look at this. That's Where the big fish are. Where's the fish, Captain? Full of bonitos, so there'd be big ones what? chasing them. You know that Sarah's a bit disappointed. If you bleed a bonito, they're nice. They don't eat bait. Mum and Dad took the dinghy to try and catch a fish. They headed out to where we saw some fish when we were coming into the bay. They had the trusty homemade rod and lots of optimism, but after trolling for a while and getting beat up by the wind and swell, they had no luck, unfortunately. No fish for dinner. Oops, uh, we just had to surf. Don't break um, the we're in Santa Maria Bay and we just went to some waves. We met some really cool people on this boat over here. So <laughs> Join us next time as we explore Santa Maria Bay with our new friends gathering seafood and making more epic memories. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.